What up world? I'm Braddy Lynn and this is another Project Zomboid adventure. During this series, I will attempt to build the ultimate maxed out character, filling every single box in the attribute tree, forming a fully maxed out Terminator of a survivor. Meet Max O'Toole. She is a former Mole Drop police officer and these are her traits. Wish her luck. She is going to need it. Good morning world. Wow, if these walls could talk. I've been up to quite a lot since I last left you. Let's see, where do I begin? I woke up with a real fire under my butt, wanting to desperately get that black pickup truck that I've failed to acquire the last few days. So I set out with that mission, only to quickly get sidetracked almost immediately. You see, right next door, in my second safe house, was a house I had not looted yet. Since I'd done a really good job of alleviating most of the threat nearby, I thought, why not? Let's go check out the neighbor's goodies. It was a good choice in that moment as I found my first generator and a key to a perfectly good car sitting in the driveway. At this point, all made plans went right out the window. I had a car with a full tank of gas and I wanted to rest my tired legs and go for a joy ride. You know, check the town out and most importantly, go check out the VHS store, which has been on my mind since the start of this playthrough. Unfortunately, I could only do a drive-by the place was flooded with walkers. I had to abandon my vehicle along a semi-quiet road just so I could try and find a place of safety. I was quickly getting overwhelmed. It somehow made sense to me to get back on track with my original plan and go get my truck. However, the zombies seemed to have repopulated that area too. Instead of retreating back to my safe house, I faced the threat head on with a nightstick. In these circumstances, I always seem to make the stupidest decisions and I really got myself into a mess I couldn't get out of. Which brings us to here. I'm back, but not at square one. Upon respawning, I changed my tactics a bit. I became more cautious and really focused in on how to level quickly. I read most of my level one profession books to start getting the XP boost when performing activities related to those professions. Once I had the XP boost in electrical, tailoring, carpentry, foraging, and farming, I started doing all those things to get leveled up. For electrician, I started dismantling anything I could, be it TVs, cordless phones, watches. For tailoring, all those leather jackets and denim shirts I'd taken off zombies and left around came in handy as I started to rip all them up to acquire leather and denim strips for adding padding to clothing. For carpentry, I just started taking apart anything I could in nearby houses. And once I got to level three, I just started building. You can only level in farming by harvesting crops. So I just planted every seed I had and harvested when they bloomed. Foraging is quite easy to level. You just walk around when you have time and, well, forage. I found all kinds of interesting things in my backyard. I also finally got that black pickup truck. It came in handy when I broke into the self-storage and found a generator. I also found a pickaxe, which will be so useful in breaking down other metal doors. So I've been taking my time moving through neighborhoods, trying not to take on too many walkers at once. If I lose this progress I've made, I can't imagine repeating everything again. This will be my last try. So this is where we stand with levels. And even though this has taken me days, hours to progress, I have so much further to go. So let's frickin' go. Get maxed out. Okay, we have an agenda today, baby. Uh, we are going to focus on metalworking today. So I've gotten myself to a point where I've read the Volume 1 Metalworking, so we've got the XP boost here to work on that. I have found a propane torch. Make sure I got it on me. Oh my god, I don't want to walk out of here without it. Um, yeah, it is in my inventory right there. Sorry, I have to look around my damn microphone. Uh, and I got my welder's mask, so we've got both of those things on us. Um, the goal is to just start dismantling whatever I can uh, in the neighborhood that I'm in. Oh, I also have this sweet sweet spike baseball bat yeah baby so now we're gonna be metalworking today we're gonna be cracking skulls i can't wait to try this out it's brand new uh i just made it last night uh i found the baseball bat and then i had a bunch of nails um and i was able to go ahead and craft that and we're getting bored so let's get out let's not be bored my player likes to bust heads so let's do that um i've actually done a pretty good job clearing out this area so Oh god, but there's always more. Looks like we got a couple, and we've got a car we can try and dismantle once we 
take care of these guys. So let's go ahead and take care of these guys. Let's try this out. Oh, she's got an axe in her. Oh, dude. <laughs> Holy crap balls. That might be way better than the damn machete, which I was in love with. Absolutely in love with. A hand axe. Hell yeah, I'll take it. I can already tell this is going to be one of those days where I get filled up on my with my bag. So my, um, my vehicle's right here. We might move it up the road a little bit because I expect that when I dismantle things like this car up here, um, I'm going to be gathering up uh, resources that are pretty heavy, like the metal sheets and stuff like that. At least that's what I'm expecting to do. Um, let's take care of this guy. Oh. So this vehicle is not important to me at all. It doesn't have gas in it. Um, it's not something I'm probably ever going to hotwire or um, worry about fixing up. I've already got a fixer upper at home. Something that um, I've been working my mechanics on. Um, so yeah, I don't see why yet, why I can't take that apart. Um, there's also a couple car wrecks that I know where they are. Oh, jeez. Holy crap. That was close. Um, yeah, maintenance that um, I would like to also try my hand at getting. There's the ambulance and the car that the ambulance ran into. Um, that, that's that's the car wreck that I'd really like to go uh, disassemble to. But let's uh, let's try this out. Let's just let's just do a quick look over here. Make sure there's no zombies. We want a metal work in peace. What's this over here? I don't think I've been over here. Let me just quickly check these uh, these boxes. I have not been over here. Oh shit, there's potato seeds. Damn, and what really makes me mad right now is that it's been, it's been raining for two days and I've been over here. I haven't been in that house. I gotta check that house out. Um, I've been over here at the second base um, just trying to get myself ready to do metalworking. My welder's mask was over here, so I had to come over here and then I kind of got stuck killing zombies. Okay, so let's have a Siggy. I'm gonna have a little... Oh my god, that scared the living crap out of me. Now that bee that just screamed is going to pull zombies over here. Okay. Alright, let's put on our welder's mask. Let's let's see how this thing works here. Where? Equip, right? Equip. And this thing is fully uh, uh, loaded with... Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> with propane. Oh, shit. That's not how that works. Okay, so I can probably only dismantle car wrecks then. Okay. I got it. I will learn. I will learn how this works. Hey, give me back my bat. Okay. Well, if that is the case. Um, actually, getting sidetracked already. Um, I'm going to go see about this house real quick. I have not been over here. Now, we can uh, take apart refrigerators. No, um, sinks, baths. Things like that. So we'll try that over here. I want to go check out this house real quick. Um, because I have not been over here. Are there zombies over here? Oh, that's probably a wreck, right? I don't know. We need to check that truck too. All right, let's check out this house real quick. I'm already getting sidetracked. Per a usual. Oh wait, I may maybe I have it in this house. I must have been in this house. Let me go check out the... Yeah, I've been in this house. Okay. Well, let's try taking apart this sink here. There we go. Chrome sink. We're going to take it apart. Let's go. Let's see what, what doing with our skills... We're currently at zero, so we should see this go up by a couple. It went up by 4.88. Failed to, uh, usable, whatever. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, now, if this place has a bath, we can also disassemble. Oh, it does. Look at us. Look at us! We're gonna disassemble the bath now. Looks like we got something out of that. Uh, a metal pipe, uh, which I'm just gonna leave. Okay, um, that actually got us quite a bit, um, like 20 or something. 
So how about this sink? Now the whole point of why I want to be leveling metalworking is I want to start making metal uh, walls and fences. Um, so I've already started building the framework for uh, walls out at my first base. And I've learned the recipes for the metal wall. So I'm thinking if I can gather materials today, then maybe I can go ahead and start putting in those walls. Okay, we're, we're doing all right here. What else can I take apart in this house? Let's go check out this uh, truck over here. And we're hungry. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to guess that I can't take apart this truck. It's got to be a car wreck. Okay. So. But I do want to see what's going on in the back of this truck. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff in the back of that truck. Come here. There's a lot of stuff in the back of that truck. We're down, lady. Alrighty. Okay, let's check this. What's going on here? Shiza. That's a lot of stuff. Alright, let's unload a bunch of this crap into the truck. God, look at all these bodies. Look at all the bodies. Okay, we've got a zombie problem. We've got a zombie problem. Come here, lady. Come on. This way. This way, please. Oh, my goodness gracious. You sneak up on me, bitch. That's what you get. Got anybody with you? I don't think so. Oh, my God. They're coming up the road. All right, let's uh, pull these guys this way. And I need to eat. Oh, come on, dude. Nope. That's BS. That is BS. All freaking day long, that's BS. You need to go down. Oh. Oh. Shit. Dude. 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 All right, let's get in real quick. Let's eat. Okay, what I'm going to do is just going to clear this area out here. Make sure there's no... Oh my god, of course there's zombies. We got to clear it out. Got to clear it out. Listen. Metalworking ain't on the only thing I got to level up. I've got to max out this bat, baby. So, let me draw some of you idiots over here. And we're going to have us a little fun. Batter up, baby. Swing batter, batter, batter. Swing away, Meryl. Swing away. Oh, I'm getting confident, and that's a bad thing. Ooh, cop lady. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Come on. Come on. Oh, dude. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to bust some heads. Mmm. Telling you. I did love the machete. I did. Ooh. Let's take that. I don't have one of those. Probably take her clothes off and come back to them later. I'm obsessed with clothes right now. Um, trying to get that tailoring up. Um, it's actually been kind of fun. Uh, and it's actually saved my ass uh, while playing. Um, I've been able to, you know, put padding on my clothing. You know, trying to level tailoring, and it has saved uh, my ass. I have been scratched and bitten, I think, a couple times, and it, they didn't even get me. Didn't get me, and and the uh, padding stayed on, so... Tailoring is definitely a smart thing to do. Hello. What up, powder? Alright, so this area is clear, I think. I think we can just drive on out of here and towards home, towards that wreck. I really want to see what I get for um, taking apart the wreck of the ambulance in this other car. So we are going to just get in the truck and go. Oh, let's, let's see about this one. 
Ooh, I can siphon the gas, though. Noise. Alright. Because my mama always told me to turn off the car before you, uh, you put gas in it. I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's, uh, add gasoline. Noise. I'm actually gonna pull in here. This is like a nice house to pull into. <laughs> I don't think I've been over here. I'm gonna pull in over here. Okay. Let me just quickly go inside. I need something to eat. I need to also equip my damn baseball bat. And let me just see if I can get something to eat real quick. Oh, cereal. Perfect. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot. Yeah, I am not sure. Oh, God. Bad idea. I don't know why. I just I don't think I can uh, take apart uh, Rex just yet. I thought I could. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's get a conga line going. Go. Alright, I might just have to retreat here. There's a lot of zombos. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Uh, oh geez <laughs> kind of head back this way all right i think we're okay so my heart is now beating like a crazy person come on let's go <laughs> this bat is awesome. No missteps. No missteps. Okay. I guess my foot can have a little action. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this house. I'll have to come search these zombies here in a second. I, I just wore my ass out. Okay, we got just a couple more to take care of. Let's do that. Oh, dude. Dude. Alright, do we need to take care of that guy or let him go? We'll let him go. If he comes over here and bothers us, we'll take care of him. But yeah, let's get in this house. Let's just settle down. We've got problems. Ugh, what is going on with these jokers? Are y'all doing dance? A dance over here? Oh, we got three. Great. Great. Uh-uh, asshole. Oh. This is getting a little bit much for me. Oh man, I'm getting weak. Okay, let, oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Whole big group over there. Damn it. We might need to retreat. Yep. Yep, retreat. Uh, let's hop this fence. This is my neighborhood right over here, I think, anyway. Oh, man. No, it's not. What is this? Ooh, it's a survivor house. Okay, let's hop in this car. Hopefully it's open. Oh my god, let's just hop in. Damn it. We got a survivor house right here. What up? Are you the only one over here, dude? Oh my god, go to the ground, please. I need a cigarette or something. Oh my god, okay. I need to find a place to rest. Oh, lady. Oh good, thank god. Oh, thank god. Thank baby Jesus. Close curtains. Clo close curtains. Ooh. Lord, have mercy. Okay, there is a zombie in here or very close. Let's try off. Is there really no food here? Oh, thank God. Okay, there is either a zombie in the house or outside the house. Oh, he's in here with me. Shit. Oh, let's go. Come on, bitch. <laughs> If I can just get him down, there we go. Close curtain. Holy crap. Ooh, I think, oh, these are two magazines I haven't read. Oh yeah, we're gonna take those and read those in the morning too. Okay, let's uh, get a little night night. And uh, hopefully nobody comes a knocking. I was hoping I had a metal sheet on me. I'd do something about this uh, this window here. And I don't think I have any nails on me. Yeah, I don't think it's really worth it to try and worry about it. Okay, we're just going to get some rest. Hope nobody comes in. An angel was watching over me because I made it through the night with no scary visitors trying to eat my face. In the morning, I did read those two magazines I found the night before. Then after, I started disassembling the bathroom, still trying to get that level knocked out in metalworking. But to my dismay, it won't happen in this episode, since the propane torch ran out of fuel. I was so close. Like one sink away close. That is okay. I know where there is a full propane tank, and I'll get to that in the next episode. If you stuck with me to the end, it means you probably liked the episode, so go on the like button. Also consider subscribing and join my crazy camp. Thank you to my new and current subscribers. And as always, until next time, bye for now.